is a really exciting auto expo for Brakes India. This is the first year we are participating as an independent Indian promoted company as opposed to a joint venture. And for us it's a really exciting time because we have a whole set of new products that we want to showcase at Auto Expo. These add a tremendous amount of value for our OEM customers as well as the end customers. One will be the Motron drum brake. This is a special product developed in India for the global market. It will serve customers by giving them convenience as well as safety features and fitable across pretty much every passenger vehicle and a big uh, value add for electric vehicles. So this is one we are really excited about. We also have the concept of our e-booster which is again an electric vehicle targeted booster master cylinder system. Next, I want to talk about the uh, entire range of products that we've developed on air actuation. These are pneumatic brakes for commercial vehicles. Again, this is the first time in India and compared to just a few global players that are there, this will give a tremendous new option and Brakes India will become literally a one-stop shop in the commercial vehicle space for braking. On top of this, we are also launching some lifestyle products. We have a performance kit for the TAR. Given the uh, proliferation of adventure and recreational use of vehicles, we're really looking at targeting lifestyle products for these customers. So it's a performance kit with a bright red caliper, really uh, both aspirational as well as high performance that these people can use. And this is something we're launching at the Auto Expo again. So again, very exciting Auto Expo for us on the back of an extremely good year. We're really excited to be here. How is it to be back at the Auto Expo post-pandemic first time, three years after the previous show? How is it to be back here? No, as I said, I think we've all been waiting for this. I think um, we missed one edition of the Auto Expo and there's so much work has happened. I think the industry is really changing. We've had electric take off in a big way. We've had the COVID pandemic. So a lot of pressure on localization and local supply chains. So I would say from our perspective, it's really good to be here. It's a chance for us to reconnect with all customers. While we work with each customer independently, this is a common showcase of all our products across all our segments for all our customers. I think it's really exciting. We've already started getting traction from many of our customers, OE customers here. So good to be back. How is it to be an Indian supplier here showcasing your province in terms of technology innovation? There's many things that are going for India right now. One is the economy is strong. We've really handled COVID quite well and the country has bounced back. But on top of that, I think there is a geopolitical consideration where India is becoming more prominent as a supplier. And one good part is India is being recognized multifold, not just as a potential low-cost supplier, but also as a design center who can supply engineered capable products. So I think for us, being an Indian promoted company that has just gotten out of a JV, it's really exciting because the products we are showcasing now are not just made in India from a manufacturing perspective, but designed and made in India. So I think that is the excitement that we have. And many of the products, because of our heritage as a JV company, are designed not just for India, but for the world. So I think that is the opportunity and the excitement that we have right now. Thank you uh, for joining us, uh, Mr. Vasudevan. Uh, can you give us an outline on uh, Brakes India's offering for the light vehicle segment here at uh, Auto Expo 2023? Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, in this Auto Expo, we have displayed products which are at various stages of development, not yet into mass production. On the foundation brakes on calipers, we have the ultra low drag calipers for better fuel efficiency. On the drum brakes, we have motor on drum brakes, which are electrically actuated uh, uh, parking brake features. On the vacuum booster master cylinders, we have integrated with the uh, brake light switch as well as vacuum sensors, which are essential for sensing the vacuum levels for vacuum pump there. And uh, in addition, we have the e-booster, which is ideal for vehicles, electrically you know, uh, uh, powered vehicles, which do not have a vacuum source. That's the list of products we are offering. They are in various stages of development. Uh, I'd like to know a little bit about the e-booster. I mean, with so much focus on electric vehicles, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that interesting product? Sure. Uh, e-booster is a product, as I said earlier, which operates without a vacuum source. You use the you know power from the battery to electrically actuate a motor, which runs a gear mechanism. Based on the pedal and the travel sensor, you are able to get the deceleration by operating the master cylinder. Uh, the whole thing is the uh, pedal feel and everything else is programmable. Uh, the software and the electronics that go into making that 
is going to give you the comfort and what the you know uh, user needs. A little bit on the technology of the other products as well. I mean, as you indicated, it's a range of products. Sure. A little bit about the technology and how customers can benefit by using them. Sure. For example, the motor on drum brake, uh, the parking brake, which conventionally is operated by a lever in the driver's cabin, connecting to a cable and the handbrake lever on the drum brake. Uh, and the entire cable and the handbrake lever is all removed and you just press a button and it actuates the handbrake lever and the you know drum brake there you can use features like hill holes assist or drive away assist all programmed into that and uh, incidentally since you're eliminating the lever in the driver's cabin gives you more space to package in the modern car whatever you would like to do uh, we believe that uh, indian market with uh, mostly uses drum brakes would catch on to it and the fitment rates will gradually rise up is our expectation on the heavy commercial vehicle side what is brakes india is offering here at the show yeah see in uh, heavy commercial vehicle we are present in the complete uh, system of brakes in the light commercial vehicle whereas in the heavy commercial vehicle we didn't have the air activation currently it is uh, uh, supplied by two major oems and then uh, as brakes india we, we had uh, this product now and uh, this product now will uh, give the complete system solution for the customers. So we have the VLAN solution, air management system, and the complete system of valves, which can be integrated with the uh, brakes. So the customer not only gets a complete uh, system solution, but also any optimization in braking or in terms of uh, uh, accountability with respect to the uh, problems in the field will be very well addressed. And also we have large uh, uh, so, field service network which gives uh, various uh, inputs to us so it has helped to develop this product which addressing all the issues that are in the field safety in the commercial vehicle space especially the medium and heavy commercial vehicle space is growing in importance in the indian market yeah. right so what are your expectations not just from this show but also in the market what are your expectations so uh, if you take the safety uh, the disc brakes for example it was almost 100% in Europe and then it is gaining momentum in uh, US as well. Whereas in India, now it has started slowly, slowly coming up and then further we have the disc brakes in the complete range. We have the 17.5, 22.5 which can address the complete range of uh, system and also the auxiliary brakes, the endurance brakes. That is also now the regulation is coming for the at least for the buses and then we have the complete uh, range of retarders for the LCVs as well as for MNSVs. One last thing, since you touched upon retarders, how is the Indian market's acceptance for retarders, the understanding of this technology? Uh, it, it needs to be educated. For example, uh, the initial cost of ownership is high, but in terms of return, it's uh, very good. We started this as a, a field fitment, uh, say 10 years back. Now, uh, with the field's uh, success in the uh, having the product, has forced a couple of OEMs to have it as a fitment in their... Uh, I can say that a couple of uh, OEMs are already having it as their buses and then they are uh, get, getting the good response and then the market is growing. Though there is a regulation, but notwithstanding that even as a feature, that uh, requirement is growing. 